Have you ever wanted to make FNF covers? Chromatics possibly? Come to the right place. Download a software called Audacity. I will link this in the description below. Basic chromatic, all you really do is just a, e, e, o, u. So you're gonna wanna select this. So after you've selected this audio clip, you're gonna wanna go to top left, hit file, go down here, hit export audio. And through here, you're gonna wanna just name this one. That's not a one, name it one. Okay, go to browse. You're gonna wanna go right click here, down to new, make yourself a folder, name it honestly, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You're gonna save the audio clip in this folder, named one. You're gonna export that, and then you're just gonna rinse and repeat. So make sure that all the audio here is good and selected. Do the same process. This time name this two, and you can export this. You can name this three, name this four. Then you're going to want to name this five. Now after you save these five files right here, what you're gonna wanna do for easy is download something called Chromatic Generator, which I'll link below. Once you open Chromatic Generator through the executable file, select the folder that you have your audios in. And then right into range, you can do plenty of things. Starting note, starting octave, just keep it at default for the most part. Range, I personally I recommend 50 because it gives you like just the right amount of pitch. Sample gap seconds, 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Basically, whatever you want. I prefer 0 0.2. Here, you could have pitched. If you unselect pitched, it'll all come as unpitched. So it'd be like an, a tonal scale, like Pico, for example, a wrapping chromatic. But we're, for now, we're going to keep this at pitched. Now, if you want the individual pitch samples to be dumped into the folder, you'll keep this selected. But personally, I just like to keep it unselected just so it doesn't take up that much storage. And you hit Generate Chromatic. See this file up here, here, this will start loading up. So depending on how long you recorded your audio for, it won't take that long. But if it freezes up and like starts loading, don't worry, it hasn't crashed, it is loading your chromatic. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is download FL Studio. So let me show you FL Studio. So you're gonna wanna download FL Studio. So right here, as you see, FL Studio does in fact cost money, but if you go to the top left here, you could hit try for free. This will lead you to a trial version that has basically all of the assets, all the plugins and stuff. You just can't save the files you do. You can export the audio, all that good stuff, but you just cannot save. Download FL Studio, open the installer, and just go from there. Apologies, my mouse is now on camera. Let me reshow. So once you've opened FL Studio, you're going to want to head over to this little button at the top right. This here is your channel rack. And if you want to get to it quicker, just hit F6. Here, you're going to want to hit this plus button that'll add a new channel. Go into the drum category. Open up Slice X here. Personally, I like to get rid of auto dump. So what you're going to want to do now is hit this load sample file. You're going to want to head into downloads, the test, and then right here is your chromatic you just made. So right click this button right here direct to, directly next to the stairs little icon. Then hit dull auto slicing. And here you should check your chromatic to make sure it doesn't go out of tune by checking any markers. For example, you're, you may have a marker here that could mess up your audio. You're going to want to get rid of that and make sure if you auto dumped 50, make sure there is exactly 50 markers here and that should be good for your chromatic. And now you could just... There's a chromatic right there. If you want to start just messing around, getting used to the chromatic, slice takes all that good stuff. You're going to want to open a piano, not a piano, you're going to want to open a pattern, go to your piano roll right here, right next to the channel rack I'd showed you earlier. And right here, you can start placing notes. What I recommend is to make sure to keep it like in these lines here, 
just to keep it on beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick little track or something and I'll show you it later. So here's how it sounds. It's a little song from Undertale, but yeah. So basically that's how you make a chromatic, put it in FL Studio. Now, if you want to make covers specifically, then what I recommend is let's uh what song should I do? Let's just do Bopy Bow for starters. Let's search up Bopy Bow FLP. What you're gonna wanna do is go to this download link of what a what is that? If you ever, ever make a song out of someone else's FLP, always make sure to credit them after. Because they put a lot of hard work into making these FLPs. So credit to Weed Lord the Monica Simp. So let's download this. You're gonna wanna go ahead in here and extract all these files. So once you go to FL Studio, hit Control O, hit open on that. So here you have the FLP. So if you wanna sing, like for example, if you wanna sing here in Daddy Dearest's position, you would just replace this chromatic with your own, how I showed you before, right click here for dull auto slicing and as easy as that so my chromatic so if your chromatic sounds a little bit quieter than you'd like like that hit control a to select all of this then hit this button next to the undo button to normalize regions this will fix up the audio for you and make it normalize with everything else Now, if you if it sounds a little higher pitched than you'd like it to sound, like right here, then you could go ahead, hit Control, then the up arrow key to move it up an octave, or you could hit Control, then down arrow to move it down an octave. And it'll all sound in key, it'll just be moved down 12 octaves. Well, not 12 octaves, it'll be moved down like... You get the point, 12, 12 markers to move it down an octave. And that's basically how you make your own cover. Have a good one.